So today we're gonna make Seraphine here into a selkie. Yeah. Blubber glove experiment is what we're doing. Explain what the blubber glove experiment is to me. It's at the Arctic. Animals need blubber or fur in order to fur. survive. You mean fat? Fur. Yes. I said or fur. Oh. Today we're blubber is fat, so we're gonna try experiment to see what it feels like to be an Arctic seal. It's a seal cake. To be a seal for much. Yeah. Blubber. The fat helps insulate their body temperatures from the cold. Can I use this whole thing? Yeah. So we're going to need about two bags, a whole bunch of shortening. shortening. Whichever type of shortening acts is the blubber. Yep, the shortening is the blubber this time. The, a bowl of ice cold water. To mimic the frigid waters of the Arctic. <laughs> Lick my finger. And seraphine here is going to be the seal. Test subject. Basically what we're going to do is we're going to fill our first bag with the blubber. This would be much easier if I actually had two hands. Yeah. And then you're going to take your hand and put it inside of a different baggie so as not to get the blubber all over your fingers or... <laughs> I'll go wash my fins. Fins. Your fins? <laughs> so our experiment, our test subject here will have silky fins by the end of this. What's a silky, Bethany? A selkie is a type of fairy creature that can turn from a human into a seal. Oh, so they have their own blubber, just yep. like a walrus or a polar bear? Yep. I'm going to get another bag. They're Out of here, baggy! They're mystical creatures, and <laughs> often they can take off their selkie skins and, tur and turn Here's into a human. Here's yep. <laughs> so here's our bag of shortening. It's our blubber. Our blubber. Mm -hmm. It looks like it too since it's all white. Yep. Basically, you want a bag in that's big enough for you to put your hands in. We didn't have any that were actually smaller than this one, so See, that's why this, this bag is so big. It doesn't have to be this big. All right. Put your other bag. Stick your hand in it. Get some tape. Okay. Well, it's just to keep the blubber from getting out, but we don't have an overfull bag, so. Uh, I can't close this. It's a zipper bag. Zippy. Right. You put your hand inside your there. Hand. Stick your gloved hand inside the blubber. Oh, oh. Make sure it gets all the way around. Yep, we gotta insulate it all insulate my the finger. way around. Because we're gonna pretend that you're a polar bear. Alright, flip your hand over. Or a seal. See. How's it feel? Does it, it feels, feel squishy? Yes, yes it does. It feels gross. It feels like I have a fin. It does, huh? Yes. Okay, we're gonna make sure I that... actually kinda like it. You actually kinda like it, huh? Yes. Looks like a back over. Flop. Make sure we got it. Okay, you ready now for we that? Now the test the subjects. This skin. looks like a paw. It does look like a paw. You're a polar bear. Alright, you ready for the arctic plunge here? Stick your hand in there. Put more uh, water over it. Yeah. How's it feel? I can't feel anything besides my finger. So I can't you don't feel the I don't. Alright, stick your non-pawed hand in there and tell me how it feels. No, keep them both in there. Okay. Ah, ah, Is it ah, nice and cold? Yes. So the blubber you can get your hand works in as it. a pretty good insulator, you would say? Yes. Yeah? So what do you think about this experiment? It works. It's a success? What the heck? What? <laughs> can you please reshape it? Yeah, it'll harden because it's cold. Isn't that crazy? Yes. It's like, so you're going to turn into a seal now. <laughs> it'll harden and it'll attach to you. Yep. Forever. So they used to take and they would make whale oil candles and things out of the whale blubber. Mm -hmm. I didn't get fill out. Oil and lamps. Oh, yeah. That's why it's a good idea to tape up around it with some duct tape or something just to keep your blubber from getting out because. That know, sounds weird. It does, doesn't it? Mm. But yeah, so that's the um, the blubber glove experiment. Because if you're going to be all swimming inside cold waters, use this. <laughs> yeah. It might weigh you down a little bit. I don't know. All you need is some ice water and a deep enough container, you could use a bucket actually, it would probably be good too, and a couple of Ziploc bags and some some shortening. Yep. yep. Bye. Have a good time. Bye. <laughs>